Hey guys, welcome back to Terramo College Enzod. Uh, I wanted to bring you guys my real quick thoughts on the uh, New World preview, uh, sort of like a review of the event. Um, the game was supposed to come out August 25th, uh, New World by Amazon. Um, they delayed it, I guess, till next spring. There's not really a release date on that. I still think it's a placeholder. Uh, if you did pre-order the game, it actually says May 2021. I, I, again, I, I don't actually believe that's the date. Um, but regardless, um, real quick in the beginning, I will tell you that uh, I immensely enjoyed my time. I played about 80 hours of the preview event. Um, <clears throat> I was involved in some previous testing before that. Uh, it wasn't nearly as involved in what we got uh, uh, for like six, seven days. Um, again, I had about 80 hours in. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I have a few... Uh, nitpicks, um, one major one, um, and we'll get to that. Um, but overall, great MMO experience. Um, I'll just start with the crafting. Um, crafting system and the life skilling system uh, is really, really good in this game. Um, it does need some work. They did say uh, they were gonna, in the, one of the discords that uh, the devs said that they would make it so you can level up, uh, effectively level up by basically only being a crafter, which is really, really cool. Um, so uh, there's a whole bunch of different uh, there's a whole bunch of different crafting lines in the game. Um, each of them you can level up individually. Uh, what's really interesting is the crafting stations in the towns directly contribute. They level the crafting stations level, and the level of the crafting station correlates to the level of the stuff you can craft. And then that uh, essentially the the crafting stations also contribute towards like the war. And the PvP side of the game for the territories, which is really interesting. Um, really enjoy the crafting system, though. Uh, you got your typical, you know, blacksmithing, alchemy. Um, uh, you actually can get gemstones from rocks and refine them, which is cool. Um, but yeah, you have, you know, cooking your typical uh, skill lines you would you would find in an MMO. Um, it's all pretty common fare. There's nothing too ridiculous about it. Um, food gives you buffs, different resistances, things like that. Um, but yeah, overall it was really good. Now, as far as combat, um, PV and PVP, uh, we'll do PVE first and we'll do combat, how that works. Um, so it's like uh, some mix between like Black Desert Online and Elder Scrolls Online. Not quite as fast paced. It's not nearly as fast paced as Black Desert Online. Um, uh, it was pretty bare bones. Uh, you get... Um, a couple different weapon skill lines and then it, within that weapon skill line it branches out and you can level up getting passives and things like that. Each of the weapons <laughs> levels independently. Um, so I like that. Uh, you can, so you can swap your, swap your weapons out. Uh, there's not like, um, there's no like cap on, oh you only have a certain amount of points here so you can only put it in this weapon and then you have to like respect. No, you can like, like level up each weapon independently and then whenever you want to change weapons you swap. Swap the weapon, you just <clears throat> put a little slot and uh, and you have it. You're good. Um, now, if you want to respect the weapons, uh, I believe that costs. Uh, There's like a currency. Not a. It's not a money currency, but it's like a thing you collect in game. And I think you pay a little bit of gold or whatever, uh, and you can respect those um, up until I think a certain level. I think it's level 20. I think they're free, and then after that, you have to res you have to pay to respect. Uh, as far as the PVE combat, it's really good. Uh, it's a little clunky. Some of the mobs are a little, uh, <laughs> like they'll walk around, they're a little silly. I'm sure they'll fix that. Uh, but overall it was fun. Um, pretty simple. Um, the PVP side of it, um, it's, it's good. Uh, I liked it personally. I liked it. There were some people that had issues. Uh, some of the combat's a little weird because like hatchets have a stun lock that's broken. They'll fix that. Um, and some of the weapons, the way it was described to me by a fellow content creator named Inglings is, um, who you should check out, by the way, it's, uh, it, the weapons seem to fit a niche. So like, um, fire staffs will fit sort of a group play niche where there's PVP or PVE, but not necessarily solo play. They're kind of tough. And then, uh, like your sword and board and your hatchet are really good for PVP and they're pretty good for PVE. And then your rest of the staff is like strictly support. So what I was doing was I was putting my, my hatchet on the front bar and then I was using my rest of staff on the back bar for support, like healing myself and mobility. Um, they'll probably expand the weapon skill lines. I'd imagine they'll have to. Um, I would like to see them be a little more versatile in all roles, but it seems like they're pretty niche for like specific things to do within the game, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, because of the way you can swap your weapons around and level them, I, I think it's actually pretty cool. Um, 
<clears throat> but specifically for PvP, uh, like I said, it was pretty fun. Uh, there's no arenas, official arenas, or like dueling or anything like that in the game yet. The only uh, PvP you're gonna get is open world when you flag and you f like just fight someone or um, your organized wars. Um, so hopefully they'll add that in the future. Uh, as far as the wars go, that was probably my biggest gripe. Uh, by far was my biggest gripe. So you have territories in game, and then you have a town, towns, I guess plural, in the territory. And what happens is you have a guild, or they call it a company, that owns the town. And they collect all the tax, uh, and everything that goes on in that town supports them. And then what happens is they have these scheduled times where you have a war, and a opposing faction will invade the territory, and they have a fort, and that company gets to handpick only 50 people either from the company or on a standby list. They get to pick who fights in the war, and if they lose, then they lose the territory. The problem is with the handpick thing, because you have an entire system that's built around uh, contributing towards the war, and then you have 50 people that just get handpicked either by gear score or if they're friends or whatever. And everybody else that isn't handpicked is essentially uh, excluded. Um, so they really need to take a look at, um, like tweaking the system, um, to include more people. Maybe they can do like 50 that are handpicked and like maybe 25 or 30 that are like just pulled randomly off the list. Um, or they need to add in some kind of other instance PVP. Uh, they did say they're going to add more zones into the game, like for sure. So that'll make... There'll be more wars and different things, um, but yeah, that that was like my biggest gripe with the game was the fact that the war system excluded everyone who just essentially wasn't handpicked. Um, you know, you can say all day till you're blue in the face, hey, you should start a guild, and you should do this, and you should do that, but at the end of the day, uh, the majority of the people who play these games buy the games, and they will play with other people, but they're not going to run a guild, and like they, you know, and... Some of them are solo players, so I, yeah, I don't know. It's just one of those things I think needs to be looked at. Um, so as far as trading goes in the game, uh, the only trading system that I found in the preview was a global auction house. Um, it's standard fare. You put your stuff in the auction house, you sell it, you buy it. Um, what is interesting is none of the gear in the game that I found is bound whatsoever. Um, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Uh, so basically, if you outlevel your gear to sell it, buy more stuff. Uh, system's pretty basic. Uh, it does look like uh, each when you spend money in a town, uh, the guild that owns the town gets a certain percentage of the tax that goes back towards the guild. That's fine. Um, I heard it was kind of broken. I heard guilds are making way too much gold, but I'm sure they'll change that. Um, but yeah, Global Auction House, guys. That's the only way to trade in the game. So that's kind of what we got. Um, but as far as graphically, uh, I mean, it was a beta, so you can't take, just take it with a grain of salt. Um, the frames are stable. Um, I ran the game on a, uh, I have a pretty good PC. I ran a game on a uh, pretty high graphics. Um, uh, out of town, I was at like 60 frames stable, had no problems. Uh, in town, I was at like 40, like 35, 40 frames. It was stable though, which is what mattered to me. Um, I care more about stable frames than like 120 frames a second. Other people care about that. It is a PVP based game, so that will come into play. Um, But yeah, overall, I like the game, guys. Um, I liked it a lot. Uh, this is a real short, like, review about the 80 hours that I played. Um, I uh, obviously have pre-ordered the game. I'm going to wait and see what happens with the change to the war system. The war system, really, the way it's set up now, it's not really... I don't really like it. Uh, if I were to tell you, uh, from my opinion, whether you should pre-order the game or not, I would wait till November. They're going to have another preview sometime in November, I think they said. Um, it'll be playable again in some way, way shape, or form. Uh, what we got to play, apparently, is months behind what they've been developing, so November, we should get a better picture of what's going on. I would say wait till then if you want to pre-order the game. Uh, but I am very excited to see what the future brings with New World. Um, and, uh, you know, if you like my video, obviously, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.